Now that graveyard should be right up here off to the left. There are few traces of rosewood. Can you feel it? Graves hidden in the weeds of time. This is hollow ground that we're walking on. Mainly women and babies. A fistful of photographs fading like the memory of what happened in these North Florida woods 71 years ago. Somebody said, there's a lot of men with guns, white men, they're gonna kill everybody in the town. The tragedy began after a white woman, Fanny Taylor, said she was beaten by a black man, a story she may have made up to cover a fight with her white lover. The attacker was never found, but a mob raged through Rosewood for eight days. The sheriff did not stop them, the governor, did not send help. The burnings, the beatings, the looting continued for a week. At least eight people lost their lives. Rosewood had been a prosperous place. The families owned a turpentine plant and cut much of the cypress for school pencils in this country. My father was a man with dignity and having to crawl through woods and be hunted down, he felt that he had lost all of that. The state and the county had a duty to protect the life and liberty of these people. But no one was prosecuted, ever. Fear kept black families from returning, even to sell their land. There's no need to look for the law because the law was with the people who were doing the killing. Rosewood survivors became an address list of long forgotten names. Their story nearly died with them. But now, justice at long last. The Florida legislature is considering a bill that would pay Rosewood's 11 survivors and their 45 children a total of $7 million. I think clearly when the unrest started bubbling to the surface, there should have been an action on the part of government to protect citizens there, black and white. Every Christmas uh, around 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we could expect that uh, my mother would call us in to talk to us about uh, the siege at Rosewood. On this land, Arnett Doctor still hears the cries and whispers. She would be misty-eyed, uh, very uh, depressed, and she would relate what happened at Rosewood, how they were driven off of their land, how her grandmother was killed before her eyes, how uh, another one of her aunts was shot you know, and killed, uh, how she could remember seeing the flames from the burning buildings uh, in Rosewood as they hid out in the brush. Citizens of the American dream, hiding from the American nightmare. A story passed from heart to heart out of the darkness of our past. Bob Dotson, NBC News, Rosewood, Florida.